Good Monday Makers, it's time for another Community Build Roundup. In this week's episode, we're going to be checking out a beautiful deck sunshade, a trellis arch, a chicken run, carnival games, a garden gate, and a golf simulator impact screen frame. All kinds of great builds as always. And remember, even if you're not building any of these exact builds, you can still watch along and learn some techniques and different things that you can incorporate into whatever it is that you want to make. With that said, let's jump in and check out the builds. First up, we've got this deck sunshade, and this comes from John. And first off, this is this looks like a beautiful place to sit and relax and just a nice scenery to take in and a nice landscape. Don't know exactly where this is, but it looks like a beautiful place. And I think this side of the house gets hit with the sun uh, later in the day, as you can see the sun setting back here. Um, so, you know, they wanted to kind of cool down the back deck. And so they did that by building a shade structure out of maker pipe and EMT conduit, as you can see here. Looks like the verticals attached to the deck railing. I think it's just one hole straps I can see there uh, holding the vertical to the the side of the deck railing and then it goes up and then connects with T connectors up here and it looks like they just made a pretty simple grid system using T connectors where it's just you know uh, a rectangle all the way around with uh, T connectors grabbing on and you know adding some crossbars and then the front bar of course from you know one side to the other and then it looks like they've got um, the sunshade attached. I think it's one that has grommets. Yeah, it's one that has grommets. And we always like to recommend ball bungees for, uh, you know, materials with grommets in them because they work really well to kind of pull them tight to the frame. And you just want to build your frame, kind of figure out what sunshade or obviously what space you're working in and then get a sunshade that fits that space and then just build the, uh, the rectangle around it just a little bit larger than the actual size of the sunshade so that way you can pull it tight and that way if you you know live in a place that gets snow and rain i don't think they're going to get any snow here <laughs> but maybe so don't really know exactly where it is but if you do get in a place that gets snow uh, and you want to you know leave it up all the time just make sure to add a good slope to it and then pull it tight so the snow can slide off uh, or you can always just you know grab the broom and hit it off that way but really great project like i said beautiful area and just an awesome project nice and simple sunshade that you could build so thanks so much john for sharing that really appreciate it next up is this trellis arch and this comes from sh and this is really cool this is, as you can see here they've got a uh, looks like a garden bed area and then also this raised garden planter uh, next to their stairs in the back and basically they just wanted to build a, a trellis that goes up and over and it looks really good basically just has the verticals you know, two on each side that go up. And then there's some front to back supports with T connectors here. Looks like they supported the uh, this side by securing it to the planter box with it looks like one or two hole straps, uh, which are really inexpensive and work well, as we saw on the deck railing and in this case as well. And then on top, we don't really see, I think it looks like those are maybe crossover clamps. It looks like maybe they, you know, had the verticals that go up and then they use 90 degree connectors to basically add uh, a rung that goes from the front to the back and then also add the side to side uh, piece of conduit. And I think from what, what I can tell, don't really see a close up, but it looks like those pieces of conduit are kind of sitting on top of the, of the uh, side rails. And if they did that, then that means they probably use crossover clamps to hold those in place or maybe uh, something else. Don't entirely know, uh, but you could also use, uh, you know, like 180 degree connectors uh, if you wanted to. It might be a little bit more involved. Uh, that'd be a lot of connectors, but, um, but you can also, you know, rest them on top like they did and then just secure those. Maybe they just use like twine or something. Maybe kind of like you see with people that make bamboo trellises where they kind of, you know, went around and kind of weaved them in there. Not really sure, but... If you're watching, I'd love to know how you attach them. Just let us know. That'd be really cool. But nonetheless, a really great arch and looks like a, a great place for the plants to be able to climb up. So thanks so much for sharing this. SH, really appreciate it. And uh, we'll go on to the next one, which is a chicken run. And this comes from at Earth Nails and Tails on Instagram. And he does all kinds of great projects. He shared all kinds of, you know, great gardening things. And he built a pea trellis a while back using maker pipe and conduit. But recently he put together a chicken run for his chickens here as you can see he's got a chicken coop there in the background and basically he's just building a fence using maker pipe and emt conduit which is really cool you can see here um basically just putting together a fence i think he's using connectors that he already had back when we were selling black connectors 
and basically just builds a big rectangle and secures it into the ground and then secures it to his uh, chicken coop as well. And there he's using the hinges from uh, um, Billy from Northwoods Engineered. And we're actually excited to announce we're going to be carrying those on the website soon. So if you've been wanting to pick those up, uh, you can still get them from Billy and support him that way. And of course, you know, we're getting them from him, so you're still supporting him. Uh, but you can get them from us here soon. We're going to have those on the website, so just be, uh, be on the lookout for those. But he's using these hinges here from Billy uh, for his gate to be able to get inside the chicken coop. And you can see here it's basically just, you know, got vertical secured in the ground probably with a stake. And then just use T-connectors to add a, a horizontal pipe from one to the other. And then just secured chicken wire to the uh, to the rectangles there. Just kind of created some panels and created a fence for them. Really awesome build. Great, uh, great project. Check out his Instagram. I'll link it down below if you want to check that out in more detail. I think he said he's going to be painting the whole structure black. So that'll be cool. And uh, can't wait to see that. But thanks so much for sharing that and tagging us. And definitely check out his build. I'll link it in the description. Next up are some carnival games, and these come from GL. These are really awesome, too. And I think they said they kind of had an apparatus for these in the past, but they weren't uh, that strong and kind of hard to put up. So basically, they just built the whole structure out of EMT conduit. There's a vertical on each side, and they use T-connectors with the quick clamps to be able to take this apart easily. And I'm not 100% sure because we don't see the structure without the pull noodles on the frame, but I think they actually bent these circles... And I think the EMT conduit, they might have used PVC in there because that's totally possible because you could use PVC in the connectors if you shim down the diameter. Um, but, or shim up the diameter, I guess, technically for the connector. But basically, I think they bent circles with EMT conduit and then wrapped it in pull noodles, which is awesome for a project like this for carnival games. But it's also an awesome thing. We see people protect their kayaks and different things uh, with pool noodles and insulation. So that's something to keep in mind. But this is really cool. And then this is very similar, except this is just a simple frame to basically pull this game uh, tight. And so basically just has two verticals and then the pipes going from one side to the other and then secured with the fabric clips and that just pulls that tight. Really cool, nice and simple, simple, but just a, a really great project or a couple of projects here. Solve some problems they said they're happy with them and are able to quickly take these apart, put them together, and they're nice and strong, um, a lot more strong than what they had before. So that's really cool. Thanks so much for sharing that. Really great build. Next up is this garden gate. And they, they said garden gate on a budget, and this is from Kara. And basically you can see here they had a garden kind of fence set up using T-post and some hardware cloth. And which is a really great thing to do if you're building an enclosure. And basically they just secured a garden gate to those T-posts using, I believe, just zip ties, if I'm not mistaken. Basically just a simple gate. It's just verticals, uh, you know, three-quarter inch empty conduit, maker pipe T-connectors. And then they used a hoop bender to make this arch. And then they secured the chicken wire. I think they just used some kind of like PVC to make a, a little clamp that just kind of holds the chicken wire in place, if I'm not mistaken. And then I think it's just some hard, uh, uh, some not hardware cloth, but the like metal wire that's just wrapped around the T-post and the piece of conduit. And I would imagine that works well enough to allow you to hinge it and open it. Not entirely sure. Don't really see a close up of how it's hinging, but I would imagine from what it looks like, I see some. Uh, you know, twine or so not, probably not twine, probably wouldn't be strong enough, but some metal wire or something like that to, to attach it and allow it to uh, swing. So that's really cool. Awesome project. Thanks so much, Kara, for sharing this. Last but not least is an awesome golf simulator from Josh. And this is a really popular project that we see. Uh, you know, if you want to do some golf at home, kind of practice, you can do a, a whole setup. You have an impact screen and you swing, the ball hits it, and it basically simulates as if you were actually golfing and at a driving range or something, which is really cool. And uh, a lot of people build impact screen frames out of maker pipe and conduit, as you can see here. And basically, really simple to do. You just get some, you know, three quarter inch EMT conduit works well enough from what we've seen. We've also seen people do one inch, of course. But you have verticals with 90 degree connectors at the top just to basically make this corner here with the pipe that runs to the back against the wall. Same thing on the other side. And basically, they secured it to their wall with flanges, as you can see here, and just kind of just put some separation between the wall and the impact screen. Obviously, you don't want to mount it to the wall because then the ball hits it, and then you've got holes in the wall. 
So basically they just, you know, secured it with some separation, uh, which is a good idea, of course. Then they just use, like I said earlier, just ball bungees to secure the screen to the uh, structure there. And I think we see in this first picture, it looks like they added some bracing, basically just the T-connector. I think that's a T-connector uh, that sends the pipe up and then attaches it to an adjustable angle flange on the ceiling, uh, which is really cool. Then I think they added pipe insulation to the exposed conduit. So if the ball hits it, uh, you know, kind of uh, will um, kind of cushion the, the ball a little bit if it were to hit it and not hit the metal and ricochet off of it too bad. But really cool, awesome project. And thanks, everybody, for posting these builds. If you want to see any of them in more detail, they'll be linked down below. Thanks, everybody, for watching. We'll see you in the next one.